I'm Barry Switzer. In 1978, the Sooners had the greatest player in America, Billy Sims. He won the Heisman Trophy, and we won another Big 8 Conference Championship, and were Orange Bowl champions. Plus, we were the only team in the country to beat every team on our schedule. There's no doubt in my mind we were the best team in the nation at the end of the season. It was a great year. I know you'll enjoy seeing it again. The 1978 Sooners opened the season in Palo Alto, California against a talented Stanford team. Thomas Lott ran for two touchdowns and threw for another. Kenny King rushed for 102 yards and Billy Sims began his Heisman Trophy campaign with 107 yards rushing. Oklahoma needed every bit of it, winning 35 to 29. The next two opponents were no match. The home crowd saw the Sooners beat West Virginia 52 to 10. Rice became the third wishbone victim of the year, 66 to seven. Missouri came to Norman, predicted to challenge Oklahoma's claim to the Big 8 title. It turned out to be another lopsided victory for the Sooners. Oklahoma scored on his first three possessions. Billy Sims scored four touchdowns and averaged 12 yards per carry while piling up 166 yards rushing. The 78 Sooners have taken a giant first step in the Big 8 race with a 45-23 victory over the Tigers. The annual OU Texas shootout turned out to be a devastating ambush by the Sooners. The usual sellout crowd and a national television audience watched the Sooners wilt the Longhorns 31 to 10.
completely dominated Texas, holding the Longhorns to less than 200 yards total offense while piling up over 400. The Sooners had placed themselves in the driver's seat for a national championship. One of the best ways to judge how good the Sooners were in 78 is to realize that over 25 players on the 1978 Oklahoma squad would eventually be drafted by the NFL. Thomas Lott added his name to others in the great debate over who is the greatest Sooner quarterback of all time. The Sooners' offensive line was led by All-American guard Greg Roberts, who won the Outland Trophy in 78 as the nation's best lineman. Faster than most halfbacks, fullback Kenny King took pressure off Billy Sims with breakaway runs. Jimmy Rogers had quickness and great speed. David Overstreet averaged six and a half yards every time he carried the ball. Victor Hicks started a tight end all four of his years at Oklahoma. Bobby Kimball was the team's leading receiver. Split end Steve Rhodes had great hands and showed his competitiveness on every catch. Freddie Nixon played both halfback and split end and returned punts, an all-around offensive threat. Uwe Van Schaman set 10 season or career place kicking records and set an NCAA record for consecutive conversions. Reggie Kinlaw, a two-time All-American, led the team in unassisted tackles. Defensive tackle Phil Tabor kept the pressure on constantly. John Goodman, a defensive tackle, had a knack for finding the ball carrier. Defensive end Reggie Mathis was one of the finest all-around athletes ever to play for Oklahoma. Two-time All-American linebacker Darrell Hunt made 145 tackles in 1978. Linebacker George Cumbie, a converted fullback, made ball carriers wish he had never changed over to defense. Free safety Darrell Ray tied the school record with seven interceptions. He led a secondary which was tested by some of the best passers in the nation, 